guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this peekaboo hair colour using the ORS Colour Blast. I have tried out a few colours on my channel before. If you haven't seen those videos you can check them out. I've used Sangria, Golden Bars and Dragon Fruit and I loved each and every one of those colours. I decided to buy three more other colours. So yeah I'm just playing around with the colours, seeing what else I can do with my hair and yeah these are the results. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, keep watching. So my hair is freshly washed. I washed it on Sunday, Sunday night. Just washed it, I put a little bit of leave-in conditioner and an oil, I believe. And I didn't have time to do anything with it. It was like one o'clock in the morning. So I just pull it into these two flat twists. Well, if that's what you can call them now, they're really messy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re-wet my hair and then I'm gonna apply either a leave-in or cream and then apply the color blast on top. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my hair down. But yeah, this is what my hair's looking like. I will record this wash day because it was really quick, it was under 45 minutes, and it was just something that I do sometimes when I don't have time to do all, you know, everything. <laughs> it's good because my hair was getting matted and I needed to wash it, but I didn't have time to style it. So I just washed it, pulling a twist, and now I'm gonna style it two days later. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be back. I'm just gonna go wet my hair. So I just wet my hair, detangled it, and put it into four sections, and just put it up like this. So now I'm gonna add this cream in. It's the ORS Curls Unleashed Curly Curl Rich Style Cream. And with the cream, I'm applying it the same way I apply my gel. So I'm applying the product on the perimeter of my hair, and then a little bit more on my ends. And then I'm going in between the sections as well, making sure the product gets inside. And then I rake my hair just to you know, separate the curls and detangle my hair as much as I can. And then I'm interlocking my fingers just to make sure everything's smoothed out and separated. So yeah, I'm just applying that on each section of my hair and then I go ahead and apply the gel. So I have a few of the curls on these products and this Rich Style Cream is very rich, as it says in the name. And as you can see, it is defining my curls already. When I did use this product with an oil, it did come out a little bit greasy so there's no need to use an oil with this product I think. As I said it's quite rich, it's got coconut oil, shea butter, soybean, sweet almond, olive oil, honey you know so yeah really really love this product. Right so I didn't want to use a gel because it comes out too crunchy when I use a gel with the hair colour but for the top of my hair I'm going to need something to hold it. The cream is defining my hair just a little bit but as you can see the curls are not clumping together as I would like them to. So yeah I'm just going to use some of this Eco Styler gel. This one's a little bit of a lighter hold anyway so it should be okay. With this Eco Styler gel it doesn't give me as strong as a hold as the olive oil one so my wash and go is not going to be as defined. I already know this because I've used it a few times now. So I usually use the lock method when I do more wash and goes, but because I don't want the colour to transfer as much, I'm trying not to use a lot of oil. From trying the colour blast from before, I realised that when I use a lot of oils, that the transfer will be more. So just be mindful of that. Plus the Rich Style Cream has a lot of oils in it as well, so it keeps my hair quite moisturised already. So that's one side done and it's all done now and so now I'm just going to section off where I want to put the colour blast so I want it to be like here going all the way back so yeah, I'm just going to section that off now just like that right so let's start yeah, as I said, I'm going to be taking the colour Bombshell. And this is what it looks like inside. I have used it before. I used it to do a skunk stripe. I can't even say that word. Skunk stripe in my hair with a high bun. So if you want to see that, you can check out my shorts video here on YouTube. Or you can follow my TikTok or my Instagram accounts. I usually record what I do with my hair in between wash day. And I technically just record for YouTube on my wash days. So if you want to see what I do with my hair in between that, go ahead and follow my social media accounts. That's Sarah Naturally on TikTok and Instagram. So yeah, let's get straight into this. If you don't know what the product is, this is the ORS Curls Unleashed Moisturizing Beeswax Color Blast. It's a temporary hair makeup wax. The instructions say to wear gloves during application. 
but it does wash off just fine so I don't use gloves when I'm using it. It says to take an adequate amount of colour wax in your hand and then using your fingertips apply a product to your hair and then style as desired. So yeah it's pretty straightforward. It's a vivid colour that lasts up to one week. It defines and elongates curls. Quick application stays on until washed out. It doesn't do any damage and there's low colour transfer once dried. It provides a medium to firm hold. It says for a soft touch finish, apply on damp hair or after adding a small amount of leave-in conditioner, lotion or cream to the hair. So yeah, that's the Colour Blasts and they have a range of colours. I think there's nine colours and I have six out of the nine. So I will be doing the other two that I haven't tried. All the rest of the colours, I do have videos of them on my channel. So yeah, I'm just applying that to that section on the bottom, going straight up to the root. And I'm just laying that product really thick on that section, just because I want the colour payoff to be as vivid as possible. When I first tried this product, I done a little skunk stripe and the colour was a bit too yellow. But this time around, it actually looks blonde. So I was happy with the colour payoff. Would I use it as a whole head of colour? Mm, maybe. It's not that bad. It's not that brassy yellow that I thought it was going to be. But if I was going to do the whole of my hair, I would leave the roots black to achieve that, you know, grown out blonde look. I did make a TikTok out of this video as well. So if you're not following me on TikTok, you can go ahead and do so. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off by applying that on that section below. And that's all done. I'm not really sure how it's paying off on the camera, but in person it's looking a little bit green. So I don't know how it's gonna look when it dries. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my hair down. Um, I should probably wipe this off somehow. In fact, I'm gonna go wash my hands quick. Uh, so I just washed my hands and as you can see, it comes off just fine. So I'm just gonna take the rest of my hair down now. A little bit up top there gonna wipe that out and I'm just parting my hair off how I'd usually wear it and as you can see my roots are a little bit frizzy so I'm just gonna apply more gel in that section yeah so I'm just applying a bit more gel on the black part because I can see that the color bars is giving my hair a lot more definition just like that and I'm just gonna swipe out some of this color around my edges here and on my ear <laughs> just gonna like wiggle my hair to make it merge with the colour underneath <laughs> and this is what it's looking like so far like this is actually a vibe wow I like it I actually really like it it's really cute what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit because I don't like to diffuse my hair I just, anytime that I've done it, it just makes my hair come out a little bit frizzy. Plus the rubber is warm, so my hair will dry quite soon. I do want it to be dry 100% so I can actually show you guys the full effect. Cause the colors do become more vibrant as they dry. I'm just gonna do my edges. Yeah, try and waste a little bit of time and then I'll come back and show you guys the end result. Right, so it's been about an hour now and my hair is about 9% dry. Just a little bit wet more damp in like back area here but all of this part here is dry and all of the coloured part here is dry as well so this is how it looks when it's fully dry and as you can see it looks amazing if I do say so myself really really happy with the way it came out the coloured part is a lot more crunchy than the top part the top part has like a soft hold where the colour part has like a kind of a crunch to it this is how the colour for me anyway, this is how it comes out when I use them. But if I use the oil with them, it doesn't give the crunch, but it does transfer a lot. As you can see, there's no transfer because it's completely dry now. But as you can see with the top I had on before, you can see there's a lot of transfer because obviously it was wet. And on my edges scarf as well when I was doing my edges. Um, so it does get messy, so just be aware of that. If you don't like the crunch it gives you, you can scrunch it out with an oil. But I'm not going to do that because I just don't want any transfer on my clothes at all. This is really good if you don't want to use the whole colour on your hair. Like you just want like a, you know, peekaboo kind of, <laughs> peekaboo kind of look. Night time, 
I'm just gonna put my hair up in a pineapple as usual and wrap my hair tie over it. If you haven't seen my videos using the other color glass colors, go ahead and do that. I'll link them in the description box below. I do have a few more colors that I wanna try, just play around with my hair a little bit, you know, inject some fun into this natural hair journey but yeah guys that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the content if you did and you're not subscribed already go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really does help me out but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.